Good morning, Facebook friends. It is, let's see, it is Thursday, and it is almost 5 a.m., and I am up early wanting to do a little bit of painting. I haven't painted in a while, and I thought I would uh, share my picture with you. I'm not sure what I'm going to paint. Um, I usually never really have an idea, um, <clears throat> but I always like to pick out colors that appeal to me and this morning I picked out five and they're all uh, master's touch um, <clears throat> colors I am using light green and um, sky blue and this one is just beautiful um, I'm trying to see what the name of it is there we go rose metalese I just thought it was beautiful and then lemon yellow and vermilion so those are the colors um i put them all on a little plate that'll be my palette and i had to put twice as much of the rose melanese because it was uh shiny and pink and that was close to purple so i thought that would be good um <clears throat> my kitty cat got on one of my uh canvases got it a little dirty i said well I'm going to play with that one this morning and try to get that covered up and just see where it goes. Got a little bit of water, foam brush, a towel for blotting, and so I'm ready to go. And I hope you guys are all having a great day. I am excited about painting. A lot of times I will put a, a coat of um, gesso on the canvas first, but this is just plain uh, stretched canvas. Uh, so I'm going to start with a little bit of the yellow and green kind of mixed together and just put that on the painting and we'll see how that goes. I like to blend colors, mix the colors together, see what happens, put a little more green toward the bottom and if I add a little bit of water that seems to help it uh, just spread a little bit um, more evenly so that's what I'm doing here. Um, So I like to just uh, let the colors kind of uh, take on a life of their own. That's part of the joy of it to me, is just seeing what they do. And then as you paint, um, then you can just uh, see where the painting goes from there. So I'm just giving it a nice coat, a little bit more water, and cover this whole base. And then I'll be able to move from there. And I get kind of messy when I paint because I tend to touch the paint and touch the canvas. I don't think you're supposed to do any of that, but I tend to do that. Um, I've got a little sheet of uh, paper here. I'm going to slide it uh, under my canvas a little bit so that I'm not making a terrible mess on my desktop. So I'm painting in my home office right now. Um, this is where I usually do my regular work. And I'll be getting shower and getting ready for regular work in just a few minutes. But I thought this would be the best way to start out my day. So that's what I'm doing. And so now I've got a nice uh, coat of the paint. It's got uh, varying shades of the green and the yellow all kind of mixed together. So I'm, I'm liking how that's turned out. Let's see if I can angle that a little bit better so you guys can see it. There you go. Um, so that's what I'm going to use as the base. I'm going to rinse that out just a little bit in this cup of water here and use my towel to blot it. This poor towel has been used so many times. So much paint on it. Um, and then I bleached it and took some of the color out. And it's, just a, it's just a towel I keep rewashing, reusing, uh, repurposing. That's kind of fun to do. Okay, so let's see what we can do next. I think um, I'm going to add a little bit more of the green, just kind of at the base here. See what that does. I really like painting with a foam brush because it has so many different surfaces. And then I like the texture because that helps do some of the... You can add texture and interest to the painting just by um, just by moving it a little bit. So I really do like that. Um, I think 
I'm going to use this beautiful vermilion and then so the vermilion is that orangey color and then the rose metalize that sounds fun I'm gonna mix those two together with more of the rose because I think it would be pretty cool to have some kind of sun up here and it's fun to mix that and flip around a little bit more and it's almost uh, meditative to do this uh, just for a few minutes to get your mind off of everything and just to play with the colors and I love to do that so that's exactly what I'm doing um, rinse out the brush a little bit pat it off and then you know with the sun that big obviously it would have to uh, mix into the sky and so let's see what happens when we do that and add just a little bit more water yeah. make it kind of an interesting sky there I like it it needs to go on this side too so let's see Kind of dragging my brush through just to uh, give it the effect of a uh, you know the mystery of the morning when the sun is rising um, not not sure if it's still morning or night but you've got the promise of the new day and that's kind of what I want to start with with this so I think that's looking kind of cool so let's see like I said, I don't plan these out. It's just fun to uh, see where see where the paints take me. I am going to mix a little bit of the blue and the green. And I think do sort of a little tree edge on this side. Because that could be kind of interesting. Sort of looking a little more like a... mountainous area rocks but I'm wanting it to look like uh, you know some growth some green add a little bit more life to it with the green and then a pop of yellow to highlight oh yeah that's looking pretty cool I like that and I'm going to clean my brush again I like these uh, sponge brushes because you can clean them off play with them keep using them over and over um, and I like how that does it. A little bit of yellow was sticking up. I'm going to put that on my brush, add this light blue color, and add it at the bottom for kind of a water effect because I think that would look good. I'm, I'm uh, moving my brush to make it look like a little motion in the water. Add some interest. I really like that look. It's uh, making me pretty happy with this picture. And then I think I can come to the end of that. My little growth area and just blend it into the water here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. <clears throat> now, I think I would like to add a little, I'm going to take that. I was just really crazy about this um, rose color. So I knew I was going to use it a lot. I put two uh, blocks of it on my canvas this morning. And that's making me really happy too. So I'm going to use that and make kind of um, a border here between the grass and this um, watery area. And I'm going to use the edge of my brush to add some interest and texture there. And that is building that edge up nicely. And then I'm going to come back with just a little bit of the darker orange, the vermilion, and go across the whole thing there. Yeah, like that. Now that is giving me a base where I believe I can add a tree. I'm always looking for options and opportunity to add trees. I'm going to pull in these two uh, really bright colors. 
Um, in my world, the trees are usually never the colors that they are <laughs> in the real world. I just like to uh, play with the colors. So I am going to uh, literally pull my sleeves up and start over here in the corner and just use the very side of my brush, come over that tree a little, uh, come over the sun a little bit and get my tree started. And I think that's going to be great. I'm going to just over at the top add another branch and maybe one that is coming out a little farther in the sky. I think it needs to jet out there. Now I can add some branches for interest and they can go in all sorts of different directions and be different shapes. And I want them to stand out a little bit more so I'm going to add a little bit of the blue so that it stands out against that background. It is just always fun to play with colors. I just don't think there's a right or wrong. Um, but of course, you know, I'm not a real artist. I just like to play with paint. And so I can do what I want that way. I don't have to say I'm following some technique. I can just say I like colors and that's what I like and they make me happy. So I am making a happy tree. Uh, that's my nod to Bob Ross. And um, he always had happy trees, happy accidents, and I have lots of happy accidents. So that's okay. It's just an opportunity to add a little bit more and add a little bit more interest. And I think that a little bit of blue and the pink needs to come into my uh, tree over here, this growth that I've got. Uh, just to add some interest and kind of tie those colors together and then a little bit reflecting in the water and I'm just going to make that I'm gonna kind of um, jiggle there you go jiggle my brush um, so that that'll get blended into the water too and I'm gonna I think I want to do one more branch just to bring it into this part of the painting and then that is really has now I've got really good coverage I'm really liking the tree the water looks like it's alive and moving and that's exciting and you can see that uh, sun coming up in the background um, I'm pleased with my uh, happy little picture this morning. Um, it has made me smile and I was able to um, use a damaged piece of um, canvas where my little kitty cat got it dirty. So when I see this picture, I'm going to think happy thoughts and I'm going to think about my uh, little kitty cat, Princess Peach, who stepped on this and got it a little dirty and that's okay. So she and I did this work together. Um, I hope that you guys will just play with color. That's what I try to do. Just enjoy it. Have some fun. Um, you know, when you, the colors just seem to attract each other and um, they do wonderful things together when you let them get together, right? So just let them play. Explore. Have some fun. What's it going to hurt? Um, a 99 cent piece of canvas. Sometimes if you're lucky, you get them for 50 cents. Um, just play with the canvas and play with the color. Have a good time. Um, I will put a, a protective top coat on this. You know, if you watch my videos, I love glitter. So I will probably put some glitter in my hand or give it a kiss of glitter so you know if you like uh playing with color if you would like to see more of these videos i do try to share um some art tips um i try to share some easy quick craft projects and then once a week i also try to come online and share a devotional uh to try to brighten your day um, there's enough negativity in the world, so this is a place for positivity and just for some fun. I hope, and look, I'm getting my sleeve probably in the paint. Um, I hope that you guys will follow me on my YouTube channel, Tinker Creek Designs. You can also find me on Facebook at Tinker Creek Designs. Um, and we'll be sharing projects and doing these quick paintings, and I hope you'll paint with me. Have a great day. Bye.